solve 6 times 7 minus 2x equal to 3x minus 8. So this is pretty simple just open the brackets over here so that is 6 times 7 which is 42 minus 6 times 2x 12x is equals to 3x minus 8. Now take all the x terms on one side and the numbers on the other side. So let me just take 12x minus 12x to the right and minus 8 to the left. So that will give you 15x equal to 50 which is x equal to 50 by 15. If you simplify this you get x equal to 10 by 3. So that's the value of x. Next we have 2x by x minus 5 equal to 2 by 3. Here you just need to cross multiply. So I'm going to multiply 2x with 3 and x minus 5 with 2. So that would be 2x into 3 equals to x minus 5 by 2. Open the brackets over here you get 6x equal to 2x minus 10 and that is take all the x terms on one side so I'm going to take this over here so that is 4x equal to minus 10 x equal to minus 10 by 4 and if you simplify this further you get minus 5 by 2 as the value of x over here. Next we have factorize completely 2x square minus 288y square. So here let me just figure out if there's any common term uh, common number in both the terms so that is 2 I can take 2 as the common thing so I'll get x square minus 144 y square now 144 if you remember is the square of 12 so I can simply write this as x square minus 12 y whole square now why do I have to write it in this form it's because there is this algebraic formula where you have a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b now I can if you look at this expression over here it looks like a square minus b square where a is x and b is 12y so I can simply split this as x plus 12y into x minus 12y so that's the answer that's how you factorize it next 5x square plus 17x minus 40 okay so here the first thing that you do to factorize is split the middle term now how will you split, split the middle term it's basically by taking the first and the last digits and multiplying them and taking their factors so i'll explain that in detail let's say you have an expression which is in this form ax square plus bx plus c and you want to factorize this algebraic expression by taking the middle term and splitting it so when you want to do that you have to take a over here which is the coefficient of x square and c over here which is the constant and multiply them and take their factors use it to split the middle term so what i'm trying to say here is since you have 5 as the coefficient of x and minus 40 as the constant first multiply these two terms 5 into minus 40 is what minus 200 right now take the factors of 200 to split 17 x so here what I'm gonna do is take 25 and 8 if you take 25 and 8 and multiply them you get 200 right so 25 and 8 are factors of minus 200 so here I'm going to use the same thing 5x square plus 17x I'm going to write it as 25x minus 8x minus 40 as it is now take the common in the first two terms that is 5x so that would be x plus 5 minus 8 x plus 5 so this is 5x minus 8 times x plus 5 so that is what you get when you factorize this expression next we have solve x cube plus 4x square minus 17x equal to x cube minus 9 so the first thing that you do is take all the terms to one side so you get a single expression single algebraic expression so i'm going to cancel x cube here because you have x cube single x cube on both the sides and take minus 9 to this side so you get the expression 4x squared minus 17x plus 9 is equals to 0. now again here you can factorize the middle term to find the value of x sometimes it's not a good option sometimes you do not find the factors to uh, factorize the middle term so in that case the simplest way to find the value of x is to use this formula minus b plus or minus root over b square minus 4ac upon 2a so let me just explain what it means let's say you have an algebraic expression of this form ax squared plus bx plus c so 
a here is the coefficient of x square b here is the coefficient of x and c is the constant over here so by taking their values and putting it in this equation over here you can calculate the values of x so let me just do that if you look at this expression over here a is 4 b is minus 17 and c is 9 so i'm going to use this to find out the values of x so that would be minus of minus 17 plus root over minus 17 whole square minus 4 into 4 into 9 divided by 2 times of 4 so this is going to give me one value of x the other value of x all i have to do is change this sign in between to minus so i'm going to write it here minus of minus 17 minus root over minus 17 whole square minus 4 times 4 times 9 upon 2 times 4. So when you solve this you get the answer as x equal to 0 0.62 and x equal to 3.63. So those are the values of x. As you can see they are not whole numbers so you could not factorize the middle, middle term here minus 17 that would be that would be difficult so that's why just use this formula to find the roots